This is my review of the Master Grade Version Kotoki Win Gundam Zero Endless Waltz. Now, for accessories, this Gundam comes with a little bit of a lot. Now you have the Gundam itself, which is blocking the... Hold on, I gotta grab something I forgot, an accessory. Alright, so, most of these accessories are just shadowed by the Gundam itself. But, the first thing we'll look at is the little 1-100th scale Hiro Yui. Who might be a little hard to see because of my stupid camera. Not that doesn't like to focus. Okay, that's gonna be sloppy. Who is in the really cool pose from the original opening of Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. But other than that, it comes with six alternate hands. I have the uh, or alternate knuckles. I have the open one, the open one's hand, the open one's on first, right now. Um, the buster rifles, which can combine for the twin buster rifle, which looks like this, going combined. Two beam sabers, a shield, which is for the Neo Bird mode, but problem with that, we're not going to do that in this review. This joint broke, therefore I can't do the Neo Bird mode because like it, it won't twist that cemented in. And then this piece, which goes on the waist for the atmospheric re-entry mode, which is where the wings wrap around the body, and then these wings fold out. So, yeah. Looking at the box, we have a big old box here. Big old box. And we have a picture of the wing zero with, you know, all the water slide decals on it, which I have not applied because... Well, I mean, I'm not, I don't, I have a bad history with those. You know, you know Mobile Suit, um, Triple XG, Double O, W O, which is blocked by the wing there. All of our cockets are like that. Wing, Gundam, you can't see it because it's blocked by the entire Gundam itself. Zero, Mobile Suit, Gundam Wing, Endless Waltz, again, blocked by Wing Zero. Varka, which means version Gotoki. Yeah, you can see that this is a Master Grade Verka, Bandit Spirits 2020, transformable mobile suit with zero system, zoning, and... Okay, zoning, and emotional range emitted system. I think I got that right. I am 90% sure I got that right. If I did, I will be sure to comment it, being like, oh, okay, this is what the actual thing is, but yeah. After Colony 195E4s, which... Technically, this should be 196, because this version of Wing Zero was in Endless Waltz, which was after Colony 196, um, a year after the, um, the, the, sh the show takes place, the movie takes place a year after the show, and all the sexual product maybe, and yeah. Then on the bottom, we have the actual thing, if you want to see what that is, um, Specification, model number, triple XG, double O, W O, height, 16.7 meters, weight, 8 tons, material, gundanium alloy, armaments, machine cannon, twin buster rifle, beam saber, shield, assignment, colonies, liberation organization, bop, bop, bop. That is for um, the storage under the wings, which I think is very cool. Got a picture of wing zero, a picture of the back of wing zero, a nice head, Showing the Zero system being active. Hiro Yui in the cockpit. Um, ab crunch. Um, fully articulative legs, which are very cool. Um, got some hidden thrusters in the back. That little peg is for the um, buster rifles. There's that part there that can fold outwards. And then you know, that peg can swing out. and It, it helps it hold it. Um, this is some outward joint movement, and then this is the shoulders, which do also move. So, very cool. Over here we have, you know, all this stuff. Nice picture of Wing Zero. Um, Master Grade 1 100th, Verka, Wing Zero, EW, Verka, Bandai Hobby.net, whatever, you know. And then over here we have the same thing. 
again, <laughs> you know. Then there is the outside atmosphere mode, which is that, and then the in atmosphere mode, which is that. So that's kind of the atmospheric reentry mode two. But the bird mode was in the manga, and I don't have the manga. I don't have Glory of the Losers. This is the same thing on the other side, and then this, and that is it for the packaging. I forgot to mention, the Gundam also comes with its own action base, which is nice. My first Master Grade action base, and I will use that in tons of more Master Grade reviews, because I'm getting so much more for Christmas, I think. On to the Gundam itself, which I will have to, you know, turn my flashlight on for this, because the, the Gundam makes its own shadow, you can't see anything. And right here you have a brilliant head detail, which was all built by me. Um, inside of the cockpit, you can see Hiro Yui in there, all snug. You can't get him out or anything, he's just stuck in there. You know, we got some nice detail. It'd look better if I had the water slides on, but I, I don't, because I don't want to. Like I said, I have a bad history with them. You know, I got some good feet, feet deets. Toe. <laughs> My RX-78 has that, um... There is a lot of panel lining opportunities in this kit, and I took most of them because I want this thing to look good, and it looks good even without the um the uh the decals. But you know, here are the wings, which do have their own thingy, which you know may look normal, but hold on, come on, my try fingers, they move out, and this is connected via a gear. So you open one side, it opens the other on its own. And then the wing, these sub wings have a thing which, if you didn't notice on the Neo Bird mode, that, that when you open this panel up, these wings pop up and it looks very cool. You might want to be careful with that though, because it might break. I don't know. It hasn't broken on me yet. Hopefully, nothing else will. That's what the back looks like. That's where the action base goes in, you know. Back eye sense, back um, head sensor there, you can see where I put the cement, right there, my last bit of cement in there. These feathers, um, also move, pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, and um, while we're at it, we can do some articulation, um, head does move up, it, it can move down, up very, very slightly. Um, side to side movement, it can look left, and it can do a full 360, damn, um, you do have the, um, hold on, you have some little shoulder cannons in there, oh, Jesus Christ, You don't want to see my fingy. See that in there? It's pretty cool. But, um, yeah. Um, over here, these shoulder thingies do move up, they can move down. These can move out and down for the, um, in atmosphere mode and the, um, and the, uh, Neo Bird mode. The arms do have their own, um, pivot. They can go can it go over? No, it cannot go over it, it goes slightly over ninety degrees. That's about it for that. If, uh, if there's a lot of pauses in this, that's because I I prefer not to fumble around on camera, so I just cut and then, you know, done. These can move out and they can move down. Wings can move forward. You move backward, you know, stuff like that. Um, they move backward like that, and they move forward like that, you know, as your things do. Your legs will go forward about. Uh, 
that far, it's just about a 90 degree angle, then they will go down, the knees will go down about that far, but there are these two little panels on the back, there, that's how you get that little hidden thruster in the um, cav or whatever that is there. And then that makes you able to move it farther, like this, like this. Then these will move down. They don't move down automatically just for the bird mode and such, so, yeah. Then your feet, got the toe movement there. Then they can move in to like this, like this. It's very cool. The legs only go backward about that far, so you're not really getting much hind leg, back leg movement, but you know, it doesn't really, it's not really supposed to, so, whatever. The sky, the side, sky skirts, the side skirts also have their own movement, they can move up like that, and hell, they can even move out of the way entirely like that, which is very elegant and very unique. Very cool. Yet again, it is a vercot. It's supposed to be cool. You know. As all cool things are, they are very cool. And, um, the shoulders can also move outward like this. Like, this is it normally. This is it with the shoulders outward for the, um, Twin Buster Rifle, which can be held with both hands. Unlike my high grade Wing Zero, all the way over there, which you can just barely see the wings of. Just barely. So, yeah. The next thing we'll be doing is deploying the Zero system, and to do that, you see these ears here? There are these, um, little pieces on it, these blue pieces. They, um, it could finger cam up in here, but whatever. Come on. And they move down like that on both sides, and it looks like that. Which is very cool. And then this bottom part down here, this little bottom hatch can can go down. It's a little hard to do. So just before, after, you know, you can definitely see some movement there. So it. It's very cool, and this Gundam is very cool. You know, it's definitely in my top three. The next thing we'll look at is the atmospheric re-entry mode, which looks, you know, something like this. You know, as you can see, it looks a lot whiter now because the wings are wrapped around it. Yes, but it is, um, very cool. It does use that adapter that I showed in the beginning. You can see the Zero system. Oh yeah, I thought that green light is the zero system still. Um, as you can see, these sub wings are out. There's a lot more backspace here. Um, you know, and you can kind of see the the twin buster rifles go in here. But yeah, I'll show you in a second, but. There's even still so much detailing in this. This is definitely a detailed kit. Like if you if you hear that noise upstairs, that's my dad doing stuff. Um, but you know it's it's very white. You know because of the the wings. It's a little off center, but that's because I had to get this in like a minute and a half. So whatever. But um, yeah, it's actually very cool. And the atmospheric re-entry mode is a very cool mode, and I tend to have it you know, occasionally. It's actually pretty cool. Now, to get a good look on how the twin buster rifles go inside the wing, I have taken the wing off. It does just pop off nicely. And, um... Yeah, that's, that's how that peg is. But, um, to represent it, we're going to want to, um, well, I'm going to do something with this buster rifle real quick, and it's 
going to be some editing magic done with the pause button. Ta-da, editing magic. You see, so this is the twin buster rifle, which is compacted, which is, yes, very cool. But now, the way we're going to want to put that in is this little part here is going to, um, it's going to move up like that. Then you're going to want to bring this section here onto that clip. It doesn't really snap on or anything, it just kind of rests there, you know? Then you're going to want to close that up, and then boom, there you go. And this works for the other wing, you just got to kind of reverse the process. You can still see the camera sensor. Very, very cool. Next up, we have a couple comparisons. And first off, for a comparison, we have the Master Grade Gundam Heavy Arms. As you can see, Wing Zero is a little taller than Gundam Heavy Arms, but only by a slight bit. So, not by much, but just to just enough to be considered slightly taller. So then I'll put him over here. Now next we have the RX-78-2. Now, technically, lore-wise and statistics-wise, this should be taller than Wing Zero, which it is, because this is 16 meters, this is 18 meters. So, yeah. And last but not least, we have the high-grade Wing Zero. You know, you can see how a 144th scale and a 1 100th scale go together. Now, I don't have the Master Grade Proto Zero, which is what that is. That's kind of the Proto Zero. Kind of. I only say kind of because that's Wing Zero TV version. That's Wing Zero Endless Waltz. But there is an Endless Waltz version of that or of that Gundam. Of that version. And they call it the Proto Zero. Same thing, extra decals. It's very complicated. I know. Now... In terms of pricing and overall review, the pricing on Big Bad Toy Store is $65.99, on Walmart.com it's $72.99, on Amazon it was $67, I think. No, you know, it was the other way around. On Amazon it was $72, and on Walmart it was $67, but, um, yeah, that's cool. And, um, so that's around the pricing. Then... The overall grade of this thing, very good. I keep turning on the, and off the flash because I just, I don't know why. I'll keep it on. It's because, um, the, um, the plastic quality in this, very good. There are no poly caps. You get a no poly cap build, which was surprising when I found out that heavy arms in the Gundam that literally just fell over. Hold on. Alright, now, now that I have the um, normal Gundam fix over there, I had to put it back up. Yeah, it, it's a very good build. Zero polycaps, you know, which was surprising when I found out that Heavy Arms and the Gundam both had polycaps, which I thought was weird. So, yeah. But, um, in terms of plastic quality, this is very great. In panel lining opportunities, this is even better. Um, with the excess. Accessories wise, this thing is badass. Um, overall, it is a very cool mobile suit. It looks way cooler with all the water slide decals, you know, as in the picture, but I haven't applied those yet. And the build was a solid 10 out of 10, except some parts are really, really hard to get on. The ab crunch part. One part, I forced trying to get it on, because it's just a really tight connection, so you might have some problems with some things. I mean, its age is 15 and up, I think. Somewhere. Somewhere on this, it says 15 and up. Well, whatever. It's, it's it, for ages 15 and up, and I turn 13 next Monday, so I am nowhere near the age range for this, but I can still get it done because I am a master builder of everything. But I do recommend definitely a 10 out of 10. I would say 9.5 because of that joint break, but honestly, even without that, it's still bopping. It's still a good kit overall and this is one of my longer videos yes being 20 minutes as of 
right now, 20 minutes, and, um, but yeah, I, hopefully you'll get more views, but, <laughs> I definitely do recommend, if you are starting out with Gundams, do not buy this. This is not for starters. But if you are, like, intermediate, it is very good. If you are a pro, definitely. If you're a pro and you don't have this somehow, get it. It's worth the almost 75, 70 bucks, but it's so worth it. It's so good, so awesome. I cannot express how good this model kit is. And it probably... Like I said, twice, look better with all the decals on it, but you only come with the foil stickers. <laughs> I only put the foil stickers on because they look cool. But, um, honestly, like I said, give it a 10 out of 10, and this is Archer saying, yeah, do model kit things. The next review, well... Let's just say the pilot was saved by a shark clone in, well, I don't know when, what year it was, but he was most pilot, he was most prominent in Universal Century 0096. So, if you're good at quizzes, and you know your Gundam anime, then you should get that right off the bat. No, it's not the Ronin Zulu. Alright, and bye!